One of the things about policies that address work-life conflict is that these are policies that make it possible for somebody to actually get to work and be a really productive member of our economy. They're different than many of the other kinds of social policies that they have. It's not like unemployment insurance, which is about allowing somebody to stay home and have income. Uh, paid time off is actually allowing someone to retain their connection to the labor market and have time to care for their family. Or scheduling predictability. Um, these kinds of things make it possible for people actually to work. So, if you want to address inequality, you need to make it possible for people up and down the income spectrum to get to work, to be highly productive members of our economy. And so these policies could really go a long way. Now, of course, families at the bottom and families in the middle can't afford the kinds of high quality care they need. So if we had, say, un uh, universal access to safe, affordable, and enriching childcare, that would go a long way towards giving those families they need that extra added um, income support so that they can spend that money on other kinds of things. Um, or being able to have access to scheduling predictability can make it possible to even keep that job and keep that person in the labor market, again, which helps to um, overall reduce economic inequality.